Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's just hop straight into it, okay? Angel Spirit Guides, Ancestors, the Mind of the Highest White Light, give me some messages here for my YouTube collective, please, and thank you. Collective, you got somebody that's holding on to you, somebody watching you from afar, and they holding on to you for dear life, okay, with this four of pentacles. They don't want to let you go here, okay? This could be somebody that's, uh, they live in a big city, okay? Somebody could live in a really big city or something like that. Yo, I'm getting, uh, Washington. Somebody here could be from Washington, D.C., you don't have to be, but that's kind of like what sticks out here. New York. Uh, I don't know why I just got El Paso, Texas. Somebody could be from Texas or somewhere around there or something like that. Uh, you got California. These are just some of the things that's sticking out y'all to where some of y'all can actually... Uh, be from yeah but yeah this person right here y'all is holding on to you for their life alright cause this person feel like you're everything that they want and need Okay, you're everything that this person want and need here. And maybe he had the y'all because the four of pentacles also represent somebody holding on to their last dime as well. Your person could have had to go get them some money. <laughs> okay. And uh your person like look baby, I don't wanna tell you that. I don't wanna tell you. Then I got to go get me some money, and that's what's going on. So I'm just going to go get it, and if we meant to be, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to see if we can pick up where we left off. But just know your person holding on to you for dear life here, okay? And he said he was everything he want here. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person, it's like you got that snapper. You know what I'm saying? That John hidden. Uh... You're beautiful inside and out here, okay? I feel like you're somebody that feel you feel like home to this person. You know what I'm saying? You're very mature as well. This person really loves the fact that you're very, very, very mature. It's like you you can keep your emotions intact. It's like even when you're feeling some type of way, it's like you know how to remain calm or it's your delivery. How you deliver things is still with so much calmness you know what i'm saying and he liked that about you and whatever so it's not like you blow up you know you start these big bad arguments and all that kind of stuff it's like no i'm an adult like i know how to talk i know how to effectively communicate like just because we disagree or just because i don't like something don't mean that i have to start a full-fledged argument or a fight you know what i'm saying to get my point across and, and honestly, I feel like you all feel like if you got to do all that, you ain't going to be heard. You know what I'm saying? If people are hollering and stuff, how can you actually hear what the person is saying and where they're coming from? So I feel like that's how you are. It's like, no, nah, I ain't got to do all that to get my point across. You know what I'm saying? But your person loved that about you. He loved how calm you are, how mature you are, and how balanced you are. You know what I'm saying? Baby, he just see that you everything. You got everything he wanted, he need. And, and, you know, and that's why he holding on to you. And let's see. You got the high priestess here. All right. So this person intuition can be telling him that you, you know, you the one. He following his intuition, y'all. He using his discernment and stuff like that. He using his discernment more. But most definitely, he's following his intuition. Something that I feel like he did not do in the past. Okay? He's 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 only listening to himself. Okay? He going within and he's listening to God. And that, and that is it. Alright? 
because I feel like in the past, your person took major losses and had major setbacks, not following his intuition. He was disappointed in love, friendships. He lost out on money. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of grief. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of regrets because he did not follow his intuition. And now he's doing that here. He like, look, I ain't going to make the same mistakes. I'm following my intuition from here on out. I'm not going outside of myself for no answers. You know what I'm saying? And then you got this Queen of Cups here. See, look, your person view you as this Queen of Cups right here. And that's the energy that you in here. Your person feel like you a wife. He feel like you wiping material. You hear me? But that's because y'all are divine feminine. You know what I'm saying? It's like for him to even think that you wish fulfillment and you add things. You know what I'm saying? It got you attractive, which you are, period. Face card of 10. You hear me? And then you nurturing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like even, you know, some of you all could have children. So you're nurturing. You're a great mother. You know, and if he got kids, you are you will be a great bonus mom to his children. And if he don't have kids, your person feel like you're nurturing to him. Or when, you know, y'all do have kids together and whatever, you will be a great mother to his child. You know, you're, a, you're the perfect woman to have a child with. You know what I'm saying? That's for the, the divine masculines that don't have any children. You know, he feel like you will be that. To his child a great mother you know what i'm saying because excuse me y'all one thing about it looks don't raise children the character do your morals all of that and he feel like you you're you're great you know what i'm saying you're a great parent and a great mother he feel that you know what i'm saying so this man must have watched you in the interaction with your children or maybe he know how Maybe you have made sacrifices, you know what I'm saying, for your children and stuff like that. And maybe he have seen certain things you have done or just watched you over a course of time. And it's like, he feel like you're wonderful, I'm telling you. And if he ain't, if this man ain't ever, like, gave you a round of applause on, on this mother stuff, you hear me? He feel like you have done a wonderful job, I'm telling you. He feel like you're an amazing mother. And it's like, bro... I want her to be the mother of my children. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, you you're you're nurturing to him. You know, y'all, I think I did a reading last year, and the song that I had channeled was Mama by uh Boys to Men. Mama, Mama, you know I love you. You know I love you. You know I love you. Mama, mama, you're the queen of my heart. Yeah. Y'all. And it's boys to men. Okay. That ain't my song. <laughs> but uh, this is how this person look at you. Of course, you know he has a mother, but he look at you as very nurturing. Y'all, I'm telling you, you love this man good. You, 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 it's like you, you, you pour off into him. You know what I'm saying? You feed his soul. You good for the soul. It's like you just, you just everything, y'all, okay? And, and that song has to say, Mama, you know I love you. Baby, that's how he feel about you. Your person could call you Mama. You know, hey, Mama, how you doing? Or something like that. Or Mommy, or Mama, or whatever. But that's what I got. I got Mama, though. Okay? I got Mama. But yeah, that's how he. Ooh, okay, then y'all. I see you. Your person said he don't want to be no player no more. And you know what I'm saying? Your person could have been a player, player from the Himalaya. But he don't want to be that no more. Okay? He does not want to be that anymore. Um, and you know, if he did not call himself that, y'all, or if he just didn't go around, you know what I'm saying? Like, a done one or anything like that. This is just somebody y'all that was non-committal and he wasn't looking to be tied down. Y'all, why I end up hearing that song by uh, I think it's named Jack Carlo. I don't, uh, 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 and you can't hold me down. 
baby, put your loving on me, baby, put your loving on me, baby. You know what I'm saying? You can't hold him down. That's how he felt. You know what I'm saying? You can put the loving on me, but baby, I don't need no whips and chains. Uh, and you can't tie me down. That's how he felt. It's like we can we can have fun, we can hang out, we can do all that. But baby, when it comes to tying me down, like you know what I'm saying, being tied down, I can't do that. But you can put that loving up on me. You're basically that. You know that's how he was. He was non-committal. You know, but with you, with you, <laughs> he fell in love with you. And it's like, he don't, he don't want nobody else. He don't want to keep his options open. He ready to be this non-committal man that had made it up in his mind that he didn't want a relationship. He want to be with you. He ready to tie you down. You hear me? This person that said he can't be tied down want to tie you down. You hear me? He 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 ready to uh, turn in his player card. You hear me? Yeah. Cause he what? He following his intuition, bro. He following his heart. Is telling his is is guided towards you. He know what he want. Don't nobody else make this man happy. I'm telling you, when his options was open, and maybe he was going on dates with people, you know what I'm saying, and 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 you know, getting to know other people. But I guarantee you, none of them people was like you. He wasn't satisfied with the vote. Not when you came along, baby. I can guarantee you, if some of the options and stuff he had before he met you, when you came into the picture, look, yeah, why something just came in my phone about Lil John? I not lovers and friends. Sometimes I wanna be your love. Sometimes I wanna be your friend. Sometimes I wanna hug your whole hand slow dead water break the steam. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> La Jai and East Side Boys. But yeah, y'all. Anyway. I can guarantee you when you came in the picture, them options knew it. Cause you start changing this man. And he like, look, I don't even want to be no player no more. I feel like even though he had his options open and stuff like that, y'all, it's like it, it kind of could have felt like he was cheating on you. You know what I'm saying? That's how, that's kind of like what I'm getting. That's how, that's how it was. And it became hard because he started loving you. And it's like, what? I can't. I don't want to hurt somebody that I'm in love with. So it became hard for this person to keep his options open and like trying to mingle with other people because it's like all he could do is think about you. This is somebody here, y'all, that thinks about you all day long. You hear me? all day long can't get you out of his mind so of course if he going to meet somebody else he like it's it's not hitting like that because it's like bro i can't get this woman out of my mind you know what i'm saying so in his mind it kind of made him feel like he was cheating a little bit you know what i'm saying so it's like bro like it, it's not fun like i'm not getting no type of fulfillment out of it. so you done made somebody non-committal want to commit okay Let's just keep going here. Yeah, your person. It's like he. Y'all, something is going to get ready to speed up between you and this man. Okay? Y'all going to have a really quick wedding. All right?
right a very quick engagement and a very quick wedding all right that's what i'm getting for whoever reading this is for your person i'm telling you his intuition is is telling him to go ahead and do it and make it right you know what i'm saying like you all can have y'all because i'm i'm getting um It's like he know he ain't gonna find nobody like you. Yeah, he letting go of his fears, y'all. I'm telling you. He this man know he can trust you. Okay? Whatever it is that was keeping him, you know in this non-committal energy and whatever he's no longer in that energy no more you know what i'm saying he's not moving out of fear this is somebody here that's coming towards you very confident okay very very confident look oh this person said he finna ice you out collective y'all person finna ice you out baby you hear me he said he finna ice you out he said he want to buy you that necklace, them earrings, them rings, and all that. All the good, all the fat. Baby, your person is finna ice you out. You hear me? Baby, if you ain't never been iced out by nobody before, your person finna too. I'm talking about. You finna have that bling bling. For real. Ooh. Baby, not only that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Y'all, your person. Your person wants to be intimate with you so bad. He do. And y'all, I don't even have that dick right here, but it's like when you all meet with each other again this next encounter yeah i'm talking about it's gonna be it's it's like it's gonna top i feel like every experience y'all ever had you hear me It's, I'm telling you. It's like it's going to be so healing. It's like it's going to be so beautiful, y'all, okay? It's like y'all just going to, it's, y'all just going to feel the love between y'all. I feel like y'all going to be telling each other that y'all love one another a lot during this next time, too. Like, I love you. And he gonna be like, I love you too. Y'all, some of y'all, he gonna be telling you that he love you first during this, this next encounter here, okay? This love making encounter. He gonna be telling you he love you. And you might be the one that's saying, I love you too. Okay? Because for some of y'all, that may be how he show his love is during that and whatever, but... He's going to say it. And it's going to be a very beautiful experience. Your person said you can get what you want. He want to ask you, will you be his? Like, will you be mine? Y'all, will you be mine? Don't they got that on that candy for Valentine's Day? Now, I know that may seem like it may seem far away. Okay? That may seem far away. But that's what I'm getting. Will you be mine? 
Y'all, you and your person, for whoever reading this is for, you and your person might be reconciling in February, okay? Like, you all are going to be coming together, all right? Now, if you all are in separation or even if you all having, like, minimal communication or whatever, like, I'm getting February for whoever reading this is for because everybody on a different timeline, okay? But so whoever this is for, for sure, Valentine, around February, around Valentine's Day, okay? This person said, if you would be his, you would make him the happiest man alive. And he said, you can get whatever it is that you want. And why they fall right up under buying a necklace rings, earrings, rings, and mo icing you out? Y'all, your person said, you can get what you want. Whatever it is that you want, he got it. You know what I'm saying? Look. And then I say in the tarot, what came out? The four of pentacles. This man holding on to you. He said, I don't want to see you go. I don't want to lose your love. Your person don't want to lose your love, collector. He don't want to see you go. You know what I'm saying? So he going to do whatever he got to do to keep you. Not just get you. This is a man here. It's easy to get a one, Right? It's easy to get a woman, but the challenge is keeping the woman. That's what your person is realizing. Keeping a woman is the challenge. Your person, like, if you find that one, you better hold on to them because you never know when you're going to find it again. You hear me? Yeah. He says, if she treats you right, you keep her in your life. And your person trying to keep you in his life. Ooh. Look at this, y'all, right up under. I want to make love to you. Take you down. Can I take you down? I really want to take you down. Show you what I'm about. Can I take you down? Your body, body up. Body, body up and down. So don't stop, get it, mm, playing with it and wait no more. I want to take it down. I really want to take it down. <laughs> Your person said he want to take you down, collector. Okay, listen to that song, y'all, okay? That's Chris Brown, Take You Down, okay? That's one of his older songs and whatever. But that's how your person feeling. You hear me? He, re he ready to take you down. You hear me? Ooh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Long smoke, bitch, that blew up over there like that. Y'all, ooh, Lord, have mercy. Not this. Okay, so your person had an overbearing mother. And it says she always in the way, especially when it come to you. This man could be talking to a hundred women, but it's some about you that that he that that mama always in the way when it come to you. You hear me? And he like mama, I love you. You my mama and all. You know I I listen to what you say, your advice and all that. But baby, you gonna have to get out the way when it comes to my divine feminine. You hear me? Like, I ain't trying to hear nothing you got to say when it comes to this woman right here. Because, baby, this woman ain't did not a nothing to me. And she ain't did not a nothing to you. So, I don't know what the, what the issue is. But, baby, we're going to have to get this on together. That what your person saying for real to his mama. And he might not have ever stood up to this mama. He might not have ever put her in her place. He might not have ever, like, went against what she say. But, baby, when it come to you, he going to put this mama in his place because she overbearing. And maybe he let her get away with it for a long time with different things and different people. But, baby, this is where he, he draw the line. And it's like, no, not this one, mama. 
You ain't going to run this one off. You ain't going to mess this up for me. I hear what you're saying. I always listen to what you say. But you wrong this time. And I got to let you know that you wrong. And he, he finna put her in her place, y'all. I'm telling you. She been in the way. It says she always in the way when it comes to you, Divine Feminine. And he, he put her in her place. You hear me? Probably for the first time, like I said. But that was that was that was another that was like a blockage. A karmic mother. Okay. So no. But anyway. It says if I had the chance to hold you again, I would fill your heart with joy. So this is what your person is thinking about. You know. So this is definitely letting me know you and your person is in separation with each other. Because he like, if I had the chance to hold you again, you know what I'm saying? He would feel you. So this is letting me know, y'all, when y'all come back together, it's like he telling you, I'm going to fill your heart with joy. I'm not going to go nowhere. I'm going to love you correctly. You ain't got to worry about nobody coming in between us. I'm going to stand up for you. I'm going to be here for you. Like, look, let's, let's, let's let go of the past. You know what I'm saying? I know, you know, some things happen between us, especially this mama. I know some things got in the way or people got in the way, and I know some things happened. But can we, you know, throw all the bad memories out? And that's what he want to do, y'all. Like, he want to start over. He want to do over here. What you know? Yeah, this person hate being alone. Okay? He he hate being alone. And he feel alone because you not around. That's how he know he in love. Because it don't matter if he had the options open, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And maybe it was because of his mama, y'all, when you come to think about it. Maybe it was because of his mama. The reason why he had the options open. His own mama, y'all. I'm y'all, what's that movie? Act like a lady, think like a man. The the mama's boy. The one that uh he saved his mama number under work. The mama always blew him up. She was always in the way. She always had something to say. She was never happy with nobody that he was with like that. Okay, and 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 and, and um She just always was interfering. And then the one that he was with was a single mother. Oh, baby, she really had something to say about that. So maybe some of y'all are single mother. And, and, and he didn't have no kid, y'all. Because in the beginning of the reading, I channeled. I said, some of y'all, y'all mask and love the fact that y'all are very nurturing. And you're a great mother, right? Come to think of it, he didn't have no kids. But she did. And y'all, your divine, some of y'all divine masculine do not have kids for some of y'all, okay? And the mama was telling his son, telling her son, he need to go with somebody else or he need to do something else because why would you want somebody that already got kids or something like that? Like she was making a big deal out of him not having kids and wanting to be with somebody to have kids already because in that y'all watch that movie act like a lady think like a man here okay the one that what was the uh was the mama boy she had a son she was a single parent and in the end he put his mama in her place you know what i'm saying and the, and and he went towards her because he loved her right he was miserable without her. And that's how it is with your person. That this particular part is for the ones of y'all, your divine masculine ain't got no kids, okay? So that part would not be for the ones you know your masculine got children. That part is for the ones of you all that know he ain't got none, and you do, okay? Because I picked that up, all right? But just know, baby, he feeling alone without you, okay? And he miserable. And it's like, bro... I'm going to continue feeling miserable if I listen to her and I'm not following my heart and my intuition. You know what I'm saying? But he fit to, though. Um, baby, he want to ice you out. He going to make it up to you. 
he finna ask for a second chance, a do-over, and he like, look, can we throw out the bad memories? Can we make new memories, beautiful memories with each other? Okay, but that is all I have for you all. I hope that this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. God love you, and I do too. Bye, y'all.